welcome everybody to an interesting video because I don't really know what's going on in this video, but I saw an interesting post on the subreddit that I wanted to talk about. So this was a post by I've got something special just for you, and they said apparently Illumix is developing their own AR engine. Now of course it's not going to be anything close to the Unreal Engine 5, which is looking spicy. I can't wait for Unreal Engine 5 FNAF fan games, but this is still big news. So I didn't know about this, but they did provide a link to Illumix's official website, and this is where it takes you. So this is the site, and it says, shape the next era of computering. That's a big step to take. Building the primary engine for AR and next-gen media. Illumix is an integrated technology and gaming company, fueling the future of mixed reality with an engine that creates environmentally intelligent world-scale AR experiences. Join us as we power mass-market AR applications across industries with a state-of-the-art engine that merges digital content into the real world. Pairing an innovative approach with powerful technology, our engine delivers content that is responsive to reality, unlocking immersive user experiences anywhere. By intelligently mapping digital content onto reality featuring the best in-class performance, custom creation tools, and cutting-edge deep learning, Illumix's engine is being built to deliver meaningful mixed reality across sectors and applications. Our accessible platform will make it simple to bring AR into apps and experiences while our engine takes care of the heavy lifting. Unique track record, proven results. We are the first native AR engine that delivers results. Through our studio, we have used our technology to build the highest rated AR game on iOS and Android. Create successful AR required templates that boost engagement and interactivity. Drive virality through AR with millions of users and no paid user acquisition. And then join our team. So what's interesting here is that they are talking about FNAF AR, as you can see from the FNAF AR banner right there. Um, and all of this was just really interesting because I don't know how long this has been up. I don't know how long they've been working on this engine. That post was only posted one day ago. So maybe this is new. Someone also provided a screenshot from Kieran's um, Instagram page where she says, missing my team midweek. I can't wait to share with the fan base what our team has been working on for May. Some of my personal favorites and one of my passion projects will be coming soon. Can you guess what is coming in May? And now, this could just be more skins and the whole Arcade Mayhem event, but that's, to be honest, right? <laughs> it's only an, an event in-game. That's not something to be super proud of. It's still amazing, and to be fair, it's only week one going into week two, and I still love the event, but that's not something to, you know, make this post about, you know? There's something big that Illumix is working on, and this could be it. This engine could be that. It does say that it's coming in May, which is interesting, because they're still working on it. Um, in here, it does say... Where is it? It does say building the primary engine for AR and next-gen media, so I'm not sure if that means they're still currently building it, or if it's already built and they're just using building as like a whole collective of the engine. I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. Which is why, in the beginning of the video, I was like, I don't really know what's going on here, but I thought it was interesting, so we're just gonna go along with it for the video. I don't know how far into development this engine is. But the fact that we could get a new engine specifically for FNAF AR, because so far that is Illumix's only game, that's really exciting. It's gonna be the only game in the entire world <laughs> that would have this engine specifically made for it. Maybe not specifically for FNAF AR, but specifically for Illumix's games. We do know 
that this is official, that they are making an engine, because Illumix is currently looking for a senior graphics engineer. Right here, senior graphics engineer, the location, full time, Illumix is an integrated technology and gaming company, transforming, yeah, 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 we've seen all that before. We are looking for a senior graphics engineer to take ownership of the graphics pipeline for a new mixed reality engine. Foundation of our AR experiences is high quality visuals. You will be an important part of bringing these experiences to millions by collaborating with a small, creative team and having relentless dedication to keeping performance high on a variety of mobile devices. Come join us and help bring mass market AR to applications across industries. And then it has responsibilities, requirements, blah, 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 blah. It doesn't matter. We are building a diverse, empowered, and passionate team to redefine the standard for mixed reality today. Now what's interesting is you take, like, they've been talking about mixed reality quite a bit. And something that's interesting is, and I kind of thought about this, but also at the same time I just kind of skipped past it. When Illumix was teasing the Arcade Mayhem event, they used the following tags. FNAF, FNAF AR, Special Delivery, Illumix, Arcade, Arcade Mayhem, VR Toy Freddy, Toy Freddy, AR, VR, MR. All of these make sense. FNAF, FNAF AR, Special Delivery, uh, Illumix, Arcade, Arcade Mayhem, VR Toy Freddy, Toy Freddy, AR. Those all make sense. VR, VR Toy Freddy, I guess it makes sense. It's a character with a headset, so there's that. But then there was MR, and I didn't know really what that meant. And it seems like everyone else just kind of, you know, put that to the side, like, oh great, we're getting a new event, we're getting a whole new character, that's great. But no one really paid attention to MR. But then, it clicks. When you read all this, and you consider what they're doing, they are building, and I quote, uh, again, a diverse, empowered, and passionate team to redefine the standard for mixed reality today. MR, mixed reality, They've been teasing this engine for a little bit. It's going to be really interesting to see how development goes with this engine because this is really all we know about it. Um, again, like I said earlier, I don't know anything about um, where it is in the development phase right now. If it's getting closer done, if they've just started on it. I doubt that they just started on it. Um, I'm thinking maybe they're at the very least getting into it. Um, but also, I hope that they're getting pretty close to the end of uh, making it, because now that we know this is happening, um, they've also said that it's going to be released sometime in May. For example, if you go back to Kieran's post, um, they say, can you guess what is coming in May? So if she was really talking about the engine, we can expect it sometime in May. Also, if you think about it, they wanted to include Plus Trap, which is why we've been seeing him in every like, video teaser that we have seen since, um, since it was released. He was in every single one, but he wasn't in the final game. And they said, because they haven't found a way to fully flesh out his mechanic yet. But with this new engine, maybe they're finally gonna add Plus Trap. It's also gonna be interesting if they decide to release it to the public, and we can get official FNAF AR fan games. That would be really nice, but I'm not sure. They might just end up keeping it for themselves. I see that being highly likely, but yeah. It's gonna be interesting to see where this goes. Um, they did release an update for FNAF AR today, and let's just say, if you haven't looked at it yet, it kind of breaks the game. The workshop is completely busted. <laughs> they, they tweaked uh, the workshop a little bit, and as a result, basically completely broken. Uh, currently, they're working on a fix. I don't know if it's going to be released um, once this video goes up. As of now, they have not fixed it. Uh, they, they haven't fixed it, but they did say they're working on it very, very soon. So hopefully they can get, get that fixed. Um, also, for some reason, people, people were receiving uh, Easter Bonnie and Chocolate Bonnie. I myself got Chocolate Bonnie. I don't know why. They just randomly showed up on people's radars. And I don't know if this was because of the update, or if it's just because of the game itself. It might just be the game itself. But I was experiencing a lot of lag when I was playing it today, so yeah. So that's basically it. Um, yeah, I just wanted to pop on, share some interesting information, tell me what you guys think. I think this is really exciting news, the fact that they are making their own engine, and hopefully everything is going well. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all on the flip side.
goodbye.